You know, I started my medical training in one of the surgical specialties, but I was the physician who wanted to spend more time uh, talking with my patients, uh, learning their history, just understanding more of what was bringing them in. Maybe a little more interested in that than uh, some of the surgical procedures. I really had to take a step back and uh, regroup, reassess, and really remind myself when was the last time I really believed I was doing work that felt meaningful to me? And uh, that was when I was doing my psychiatric training. I took a deep breath and I made a big pivot and I started training in psychiatry. It was one of the best decisions I've ever made. I've been practicing psychiatry for 17 years now and the patients for whom I've witnessed the greatest transformation those were the patients who really gave me that feedback that, you know, Dr. Mitchell, I really felt like you heard me or you asked me questions that maybe no other physician has ever asked before. And in those cases, uh, oftentimes the individual was able to share aspects of themselves, aspects of their history that maybe they had never shared before with another individual. And that can only really happen when we're able to create a safe space, a place where they feel like they can really reveal maybe the core of, of really what's bringing them in, that's when the healing can really begin. All the medical fields think about patients in terms of their biopsychosocial framework, but in psychiatry, we really live and breathe that. That is the foundation of what we do. We have to understand them from their brain to the bottom of their feet, and what's happening with their physiology and understanding any medical illnesses that might be contributing. Then we have to understand their psychological framework. We need to understand how they view the world, how they view themselves in the world. And what I think might be the most important aspect is their, their spiritual sense. What gives their life meaning? Where's their purpose? Where's their sense of value? And I feel like when an individual understands those aspects of themselves, that's when we really start to understand their illness. But that also gives us the path to their recovery that biological, psychological, social, spiritual framework, I think that's the heart of good medicine and that's the heart of psychiatry and, and that's why I do this work.